Welcome to this month's Vanners Collaboration video. As usual, this video is a collaboration between us and a number of other YouTube channels. They'd all appreciate a view of their video, so why not click on their links down in the description below. And what is the title this month? What do you do with your van over winter? We think the easiest and simplest answer to that question is that you actually use your van. Yeah, it's a lot of money to leave in storage or sat on your driveway for four months of the year. Yep. Why not use it all year round? They're perfectly capable of being used in all weathers and we can t attest to We that. can. We've been away in winter. We've been away with it snowing um, over Christmas and over New Year. So it gets a little bit cold, but the van's got a heater. So, of course, there are a few things that you do need to be mindful of, whether you're using your van or not. Whilst in storage or on your driveway, make sure that you've emptied down all of your tanks so mm -hmm. that nothing freezes. Mm -hmm. So we go we go away probably not every weekend or every other weekend like we would in the summer. So ev after every trip, we make sure we drain everything. I do down. that anyway. Yeah, I do that regardless. <clears throat> There's plenty to do all year round in a motorhome or a caravan or whatever your choice of leisure vehicle is. Christmas markets, fantastic. Why not take your home on wheels with you? You can sample all of the lovely wares that are there. Glue vine, mold wine, whatever you want to call mm -hmm. it. All the different tots that they've got, whiskies and flavoured gins and vodkas these days. Yeah, why not? Just take your hat and your coat, mm -hmm. your scarf, gloves, wrap up warm. Bob's your uncle. Why, you know, why, why? You would probably go to a Christmas market anyway, so why not stop over? Make it more fun. Sure. Go with a group of friends, you know, make it a meet up. We do try and pick hard standing pitches throughout the year anyway, because the UK is just so unpredictable with its weather and how quickly grass can become waterlogged. I would say that over December, January, it's not unpredictable at all. It is going to be waterlogged. So therefore, really, you should be sticking to booking um, hard standing. Hard standing. Yeah. The likes of waffle boards will get you out in certain situations if you're lucky. Even if you're lucky or not, it's just going to be a cold and miserable thing that you just don't want to be dealing with. Yeah. So try and book a hard standing pitch. If there's not one available, don't go. It's not worth the hassle. If you're fortunate enough to store your motorhome or your caravan or camper van on the driveway, why not leave the heater running at a very low heat to prevent any kind of freezing issues inside the van? Now, I'm not talking about getting, you know, cranking the thing up to like 29 degrees centigrade at all. You know, set it down to as low as it will go, which is typically about five degrees. It's still warmer than freezing. We've also used a little oil heater before now, haven't we? Yes, yes, I believe we did in the caravan. We had a little. <coughs> It's one of those finned oil heaters that just plug into mains, and that thing uses, um, you know, 100 watts or so. We wanted of, to of keep power. costs down, yeah. didn't we? Yeah, it was a very cost effective um, way of dealing with it. And just kept the chill off. Yeah, and being an oil heater instead of a radiant heater, it's much safer. Yes. As I said, go, you know, go with other groups of friends still. If anyone's got a, a, a big winter kind of awning or a pop up gazebo tent, like us, or if, if like us and a few of others that we know, um, use a Quest pop-up tent. These will seat four very comfortably, six at a squeeze, but then you really don't have to worry about heating because you soon get nice and toasty. And but the it's, COVID. <laughs> but it's, always, it's a way of being able to still socialise on a campsite together on an evening or an afternoon. Um, if, if the weather's not so brilliant, you'd actually want to sit out in the open air. So that's it. Again, I'll state the, the short answer is the best thing you can do with your van over winter use is, it. To, yeah, is definitely to use, use it. it, Yeah, for sure. And a reminder that this is a collaboration video. Please watch the other videos in this collaboration. You'll find a link to those in the playlist below and we'll stick a card up over here somewhere for you to click on. Thank you. Bye for this month. Bye.